Good morning and welcome to Motivational Monday. I am John Hughes and this is my morning focus. I wanted to share with you today my story so you can get an idea of where my motivation comes from and also tie in goals, short term and long term, to give you a better understanding of what we've gone over the last several weeks. A few years ago, when I began my current position, which is in sales and I sit most of the day, I realized I started to get fat, especially around the belly. And, you know, it's stressful just like everybody's job. And I said, I've got to do something about this because I noticed a lot of my colleagues were getting heavier and heavier, as was I. And I found myself with, you know, very little energy. I would uh, have an hour long nap and go sleep in my car. I was not on a good track. And I decided something needed to be done about it. So I began to look at different exercise routines and I found the Wolverine workout by, you know, the, the Hugh Jackman thing. And I thought, this guy is my age, he's in awesome shape, that's what I want to be like. Now, I've lifted weights since high school and I realized that's not going to cut it. What I really need is better manners of eating. But I really had no idea. I thought that I was doing everything, low fat and uh, you know healthy carbs or whatever but uh, as I dove down the rabbit hole I discovered intermittent fasting and the ketogenic diet which just fascinated me with the science of it and I began to incorporate this and I've read dozens of books all about the food industry and about uh, diet and food science and nutrition and I've watched hundreds of hours of interviews with doctors and scientists and nutritionists and fitness specialists and I began to incorporate this information and I lost 35 pounds and I'm in better shape than I've been in years and I'm, I'm slim and I'm fit and I'm energetic I also recognized that my health rather my sleep was out of whack so I began to talk to a lot of people who noticed these changes and and someone one time said you know, are you a doctor? Why are you telling people what to eat, you know, for these, you know, diseases that are so prevalent and ever more like obesity and diabetes and high blood pressure and who are you? And I said, you know, you're right. I am not a doctor, although I listen to countless doctors. I am going to go get certified. So I studied what should I do? And uh, I looked into nutritionists, uh, bachelor's degrees, and I realized, well, then I'll just know all that I already know, but I still won't know how to help people. And so I looked into coaching and I became a health coach over a year of study in the evenings, on the weekends, phone conversations with other students and practice sessions and, and over a year. And I became a certified health coach. And I realized along the way that while a lot of people want to lose weight and have more energy, uh, there's a lot of problems and what I learned was how you do one thing is how you'll do all things certainly if your health is out of whack or your relationships are out of whack you're probably not doing the best you can with your finances and maybe your relationship with that which is greater so I learned that you have to look at the whole life holistically and I subsequently continued study it and I am a certified life coach helping people to examine their life see where they're out of balance and help to put it in perspective and set goals realizing where are you now where do you want to be what's stopping you and so the biggest use that I have on the planet here is helping people change habits and holding them accountable teaching them how to recognize patterns and change them and try new things and there's so much information out there it's said that uh, if information were enough we'd all have six-pack abs and be billionaires. We all know what to do, but we just don't do it. Why is that? Okay, so I have learned over the last year and a half how to help talk to people and let them examine their, themselves and, and set goals. So here, my story is all about how I had a problem, I recognized it, and with uh, I, I researched it, and I made my life's vision to correct my problem, stay healthy, I want to live to 100, and I want to be in the best shape that I can, continue getting stronger, and help other people. Those are some of my life's visions. 
the values. Why is that important to me? Because God gave me this ability to speak to you and the ability to put these things in action and deal with problems like everybody has and come out on the other side. And I want to share with you my story and how I did that. Um, my, my methods are curating the information because there's so much out there, but you need to use what, what works best for you. And I'll gather it and I'll help my, my clients that range from Canada all throughout the United States all the way to South America. I'm fluent in Spanish and so I'm able to help a lot of people. Obstacles, there's lots. Uh, people aren't ready to change, haven't hit the bottom of their, their misery that, that life circumstances may, may provide. That's okay if it's not their time. Or it's really hard to uh, fight against ingrained habits. And also the food industry is absolutely evil, deceitful and self-serving. They study how our brain works with fat and sugar and, and salt to make us addicted to these chips. Just like the commercial, how blatant is it? You bet you can't eat just one. No, you can't. Not, not a, an Oreo or a Frito or any of the crap in a box. Okay, enough of that rant, right? So, big obstacles. And ultimately, how do you measure it? Well, little bitty steps over time. Changing habits, and it's also said that small hinges swing big doors, making incremental changes that can build on each other. That's why every week I go through just a few of the hacks that I've incorporated. If you tried to take all 30 something that I do on a regular basis and start them, you'd go nuts. But trying and testing out, seeing what works for you little by little, incorporating more because people's bodies are different, their lives are different, so little by little working on it that way. And that is my story of how I got started in doing what I'm doing and why I am suited to help people that are looking for how to change their lives, how to go certainly in their health, in their energy, in their pursuit of doing all they can to correct diseases that are caused by lifestyle and diet. That's what I'm here for. And, and I encourage you to watch all these videos, take whatever you can, study it for yourself, reach out to me, ask me what would you like to learn more about. I'll be happy to set up some videos on that or have one-on-one -on -one conversations. The most important thing, please continue watching these and subscribe to my channel, ring that little notification bell so you get the uh, alerts regularly. I thank you very much for letting me be part of your success and have a wonderful Monday. Bye-bye.